John J. Rich, we didn't do stacks and hacks. I don't care. I'm past it. You want to get past it? Or you want to do it? I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> You're Georgia, over it. You are all over the place right now. It's so confusing. We said we're going to give it to the people. Uh, yeah. you just do your life hacks. Then. Okay, guys. We'll, we'll do it real fast. So we'll go, do your life hacks. Go. Okay, so if you ever burn yourself on a curling iron, are you cooking? In fact, don't you burn yourself a lot when you cook, I do. Kyle? I have burn cream nearby at you all times. You don't need burn cream because a lot of people don't, but you're you're being very proactive. But if you don't have burn cream, the fastest thing that you can do is not ice. It's actually mustard just from your fridge. Plain old mustard. You rub it around the burn area and then you just rinse it with cold water and it will actually take the burn out of the burn. That life hack and many more can be found at johnjanerich.com. That's good to know because Dutch was like cooking some hamburgers and he never wears a shirt. And the oh, oil popped up and yeah. got all burned his whole side. Ouch. He was really, really bad. But now he's got a cool scar. Looks like he was shot. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he tells all the girls. Mm. It's a burger wound. It's a burger okay, wound. so real quick, if you don't know, the last I don't know month or so, Peyton's been concerned about a, a growth under her chin. Right, so much so you had all of us feel it. It's a little bump underneath your chin. Yeah, and yes. it doesn't feel like like it's. Like you were like you were thinking it was fat at first, but it yes. doesn't feel like that because it almost feels like an extra muscle. It's like tough. It totally feels so you that went, way. You concerned? You went talked to a friend who's in medical business. They said you need to get checked out. You did drew blood and you went and got a CT scan. So that now you have the results. I now have the results, and it's good news, but also bad news. Good news in the sense that my CT scan is clear. You can't Yay. see anything there. Good news that my blood came back fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Bad news, I've just gained a ton of weight, and that's probably why I have the weird no. double chin under my lip. <laughs> that's what they said? Basically, yeah. They were what? just like, yeah, girl, shred, shed those 20 pounds that you gained. No. <laughs> I think it's interesting when you look, knowing that's a result, and you think about how, how you were talking about how much you've been eating and drinking and partying, and yes. your first thought is, I have a tumor on my chin. <laughs> well, I legit thought but, I had thyroid cancer for a good, like, six weeks. Okay. I really I mean, did feel that. So. Like, your defense is like, people were saying you that could be something very serious, which absolutely, would freak you out. Absolutely, absolutely. But, I, I mean, I did find something out, though, which I thought was pretty interesting. Do you guys remember how we all got taken down with the rich plague? We couldn't yeah, figure out what it was. Sick. I don't know if I like us calling it that, but go ahead. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay. My blood came back. Positive for mono. We all had mono, you guys. The kissing disease. That's what we all had. That's what took us out. Apparently, it's really contagious. I've never had mono what? in my life. That's what they told me. They were well, like, your you blood tested positive for mono. So when you are really sick, that's probably why my lymph node underneath my neck got extremely swollen and all types of stuff. Okay, also, wait, so I'm your lip node is swollen because of mono, not because you've been eating Wendy's Frosties I think day. it's all of the above. I think oh. it's a combinedness of all said things. But- I'm going to blame it on the sickness. <laughs> also, Wendy's Frosties are only a dollar right now and I've been dying to go get Did one. Did you see that? <laughs> They're so smart. Yeah, They're so, so smart. Good. I was like, Genius. What? That's Genius. a takeaway from this particular segment. <laughs> yeah, that is the one. Forget Frosties about the life hack. <laughs> right. Frosties right are a here. buck. I'm saying it was because of the sickness. Right. But I'm staying away from the dollar Frosties because I've gained so much weight and apparently there's nothing wrong with me. I'm cutting out bread. I'm not eating bread anymore. But bread's and delicious. And I'm not going to drink beer during the week. I'm not drinking during, during the, the week. You know what? Okay. When, when, when it, <laughs> When you're concerned about this tumor that was on your face or whatever, right, and you find out that it's not a tumor, did you look at the scale? Did you gain weight? Yeah. Like, you look at the number and you... For, you you're, oh, I've definitely gained like how 20 much, pounds. 20 pounds. Literally, I weighed 125, now I weigh 145. I'm getting real personal. So when you saw that, you weren't like, maybe that's what it is? Let me go get a CT scan. I thought that... Well, I knew I was gaining weight. That's why I had also thought there might be something wrong. How am I gaining that's this true. much it weight? That's true. Yeah. It could have been a fight. It could have been a fight. Because where do you yeah. carry your weight? Because I don't see... It's funny you bring up your chin, but it doesn't look like... you don't My look, legs. You don't look any can... different to me than when the first day you started here, right? Yeah. No so way. I just posted I think a video it's a tumor. of Nick and I doing a shotgun of a Red Bull, and I had to cover up my monstrous legs with all of the text. You're crazy. Because I was Stop. like, my God. You do. Thunder, You're really hard on yourself. Thighs. I walk in this building, and it feels like an earthquake. No, like, it come on. Does that. Yes, it does. Stop. Yes, it does. I carry it all in my legs and my butt, and I'm ready for it to go. <laughs> well, speaking of text, there's a text here. You text uh, JJR in your message to 96893, and this says, uh, I wanted to tell Peyton about her eating her cucumber salad with her sour cream and ranch dip and how it absolutely does not negate her eating cucumbers. Any chance you have to get in your vegetables and your healthy food is acceptable. She wasn't eating a bag of chips with sour cream and ranch dip. She was eating vegetables. Yes, that is true. 
Yes. But I also do follow it up with a bag of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just had four bags of Doritos. But I think I need a CT scan. But there's a, cucum- there's a cucumber in there. She was a CT scan. Because your friend is a good friend. Me. Your good friend wasn't going like, damn, girl, you put on weight. You know probably. what? Let me get you a CT scan. No, yeah. no <laughs> probably. That's exactly what happened. And actually, my cousin is my is like my PA who I like go to and see. And she's like, yeah, Pepe, like you just gained a lot of weight. What? <laughs> And also Mono. I was like, thanks for being so real with me. Uh, also, your she say that, is positive for Mono. <laughs> she said that before the CT scan or after? Well, I saw her at a family party, and I was like, look at this thing under my chin. She's like, I don't feel anything. You probably just gained a lot of weight, but I'll schedule you a CT scan uh, and a blood scan. Uh, <laughs> but your blood scan had, like, Mono in it, I, which thanks, could have caused Rich. a lot. Of- <laughs> <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> oh, well, I think you look great. <laughs>